But the kids are getting bigger and they're, and they're moving on their own ways and, and we gotta find things. We, we, we gotta look for things to do together. Two years ago she came up with skiing. That was her idea. We'll ski together. That'll be fun. Skiing. I told her I'm not taking up skiing. Not at my age. Save me the cost of a lift ticket and throw me out a third floor window. <laughs> told her you want to ski, we'll buy a Nordic track. We'll just do it in the living room. Turn the air conditioning up real high, get it nice and frosty and Every three or four minutes, she can run in and smack me in the head with a tree limb. How's that? <laughs> you nuts? I tried skiing ten years ago and got knocked unconscious by the chairlift. <laughs> yeah, it's funny now. Some of you look at me and think, well, you seem fairly coordinated. How can something that stupid happen? Well, let me explain. I was in my ready position, as I had been taught. Notice the knees are slightly flexed, the shoulders are square. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I believe my face was lathered with anticipation. <laughs> From behind me, somebody yelled, Look out! <laughs> now you know when you hear the words, look out, you don't duck, you turn around and see what it is you're looking out for. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> And the insurance company, you gotta love those people, wouldn't cover the head injury. Guy called me up at home, go, you got hit in the head with a chairlift? I go, yeah. He goes, ah, that makes you a moron. We consider that a pre-existing condition.